and Lou, you stop that. Well, I guess I'd better sit this one out. Well, I always admire a man who thinks for himself. You and Quint? Today's the fifth, then. All day. Will you kids stay out of this and let these men play their own game? What's he trying to say? When the shadow moon hangs in the sky with the rising sun, is it the owl or the rooster that crows? What? <laughs> you're gonna play or you're gonna wait for the sixth? I'm in for a nickel. He's getting serious. You know, Sam, if I was you, I might just see that nickel. Well, you ain't me. Thank the Lord for small favors. Hell, I'll do it anyway. What do you want? What? I'm out. Stand up to him, Sam. He's bluffing. I'm gonna hate myself for this. Quinn's five. What do you got? You didn't think positive. I got time for one more hand, then I go back to keeping the peace. <laughs> and not a word out of you, or I'll be the first to break it. Deal them. I'll open for 15 cents. Cody! Come on over. Why? Why? You went and lost our earnings to those sodbusters in Tucson, you're asking me why? Just bad luck. Poker plans in art and in science, and you got a lot to learn, so get over here. Sorry. Not in the mood. Besides, I'm reading. Reading? You call that 10 cent hogwash reading? Give me two. You ought to try it sometime, Jimmy. You might learn something. Like what? Well, for one thing, like how to be a real hero. Well, if that's all you're reading about, let me spare you the trouble. Real heroes learn from doing, not reading. Five cents. Especially trash like that, dreamed up by some city-fied jacket dandy wouldn't know a lasso from lace bloomers. You don't know nothing about the finer things in life. Excuse me. Hey, I was reading that. School's out. Now look what you've done. Hey, I'm sorry. We are just having fun is all, and I wanted you to be a part of it, Cody. Something wrong with that? Look, I'll buy you another damn book if it make you feel any better, all right? All right. But I can still beat you at cards any day. So keep losing at night. Pardon me. I believe this is yours. Well, thanks, mister. But it's useless now. Oh, of course. How stupid of me. Try this one. You some kind of traveling librarian, mister? No. The name is Marcus. J.D. Marcus? Not the same Marcus that writes these books. Oh, I've been known to spin a tale or two. Well, I'll be. It is an honor, sir, to meet you. Do you think you write something in it for me? You know, something personal? A pleasure. Name's Cody. William F. Cody. To Bill Cody. An ass. An ass. At least you got that right. Jimmy here thinks your stuff's all made up. Is that true? What do you actually know the fellas you read about? I'm out. Well, if I may dispense with modesty for a moment, not only do I know them, I made them famous. If they were any good, they wouldn't need you or anybody else to write about them. Word just seems to get around, Mr. Marcus. Yes, usually by people who know how to read. You know, I've seen a lot in my travels, and one thing I can always pick out is a boy who would wet himself if he ever met up with a real gunfighter. Read it. You know, your friend here is right. You might learn something. No, thanks. Are you afraid to discover what you're not? Looks like you're the one who wet himself now. Why, you impertinent... Hey, oh, 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 oh. 
Damn it, Jimmy. Why do you always go to the gun? So what happened, Sam? He was going to hit me with that thing. Well, next time, hit him back. Get him out of here. Let's play cards. One moment, Mr. Hickok. I doubt you realize it, but your facility with that six-shooter is the stuff of legend. What? You'll be hearing from me. I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Don't forget your hat. The kind of people you meet in saloons these days. Another day with Jimmy Hickok. <laughs> Legend of Wild Bill Hickok, son, Rose of Sweetwater. And Wild Bill's destiny was clear from the first. He stood tall with his steely nerve and confidence that no man could stand up to his lightning draw. Only the bravest would dare incur his wrath or face his deadly aim. Fifteen kills in eighteen years. Hmm. Now well, let's make that twenty kills in eighteen years. His ivory-handled revolver slung low, hand ready, with the unflinching gaze of his gunfighter's eyes, Wild Bill Hickok would become the most feared gun alive. Cody, I got a new 10 center you might want to read. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Tompkins. That stuff don't interest me anymore. Oh, this one might interest you. What's wrong? Look at this. J.D. Marcus's new book. It's all about Jimmy. Read it, Lou. He stood tall, his pearl handle cold, slung low, hand ready. His steely eyes were void of emotion as they glared at the deadly Gabe Calder, who stood just a few feet away. Wild Bill Hickok had earned his <laughs> reputation. 20 kills in 18 years. Little did Calder know that dark and cloudy day, but it was written in the cards that he would be 21. Wait a minute. Jimmy never killed anyone in a standoff, except Longley. Most of all, Gabe Calder. Hell, Calder ain't even dead. He's just been laying low for a few years. What I don't understand is what Marcus made Hickok out to be some kind of hero after the way he showed him up at the saloon. You don't understand, huh? Let me see that. You know what that is? Yeah, I know what it is. It's a bunch of lies, Teaspoon. Well, I know that, and you know that. Nobody else does, do they? And if they did, it wouldn't matter. You know why? Because that book is saying there's a new king of the hill, and his name is Wild Bill Hickok. Mr. Marcus is setting up Jimmy and cashing in the boot. <laughs> know what you want, because I ain't got nothing here except the mail. Just letters and stuff like that. I'm here for you. Wild Bill. <laughs> this is some kind of mistake, friend. That's your picture on the cover, ain't it? Well, it looks like me, but it ain't me. Besides, my name's not Bill or William. It's James, as in James Butler Hickok. Comprende? What's the matter, Hickok? 
You yellow? It's all lies. I'm telling you. You ready? I don't believe this. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm ready. Good. Do us both a favor. Next time you got ten cents, spend it on candy. Jimmy, seems that Marcus fellow we ran into in the saloon wrote a new book. I know. Sure writes fast, don't he? I read it. What do you want, a reward? Especially like the part where you walked into a saloon and Dodge. Was it Dodge? Shot up five men, then shot the chain holding up the chandelier to fall on the other guy's head. Now, that was a fine bit of shooting. Yeah, it was just warming up. Killed 15 more before the day was through. Now, if you'll excuse me. Hey, Jimmy. I'm, I'm telling everyone I'm your sidekick. Sure, why not? Otherwise, I'd have to kill you, too, wouldn't I? Nice evening, ain't it? Thank you. Please pass the spuds and peas. Thank you. And the biscuits, please. As you wish. Thanks. Mind if I do, Cody? Mm. Mm -mm. Sure is good, Emma. So is this. <laughs> I guess y'all know by now. Being a famous man and all with your picture on books and everything. I heard. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna fund me all day or are we gonna eat? What is it, Cody? Nothing. Yeah, nothing. You got something on your mind, so out with it. We don't got any secrets around here, remember? Well, it's just that, uh... Well, I know you like a brother. And I know you didn't do those things. Now, if you're gonna get this reputation, well, then maybe we who helped you gain your reputation, maybe we ought to cash in on all this ratting. What do you think? Stand up, Cody. What? You heard what I said. Stand up. Now. Draw. <laughs> <laughs> He beat you, Cody. <laughs> Thank 
that everything? Yeah. Uh, hold it. You forgot Emma's lilac water. Where is it? It's right over there where it always is. I'll get it, kid. You settle up. <laughs> Which one should I get? How should I know? Get them both. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Excuse me, ladies. Maybe you can help us out. Uh, if you had a favorite lilac water, which would it be? <laughs> I say something wrong? What do you got to go and sell this garbage for, Tompkins? Because it's a moneymaker, that's why. Besides, if you weren't such a big, bad gunslinger, it wouldn't matter, would it? <laughs> Seems like lies will follow a body around close in his own shadow. Okay, if I get started, I gotta make a run. Yeah. Hey, look, it's Wild Bill. Come See here. See back at Emma's. All right. What are you looking at? If it ain't Sam Kane. Nice badge you got there, Sam. Ways out of your territory, aren't you, boys? It's raining back home. Oh, we get some sun. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta face a chick, there's a cloud wherever you go. Relax, Sam. All we want to do is wet our whistles. Now, that ain't illegal in your town, is it? You can make Fort Laramie in four hours. You do it there. I'd expect a little more hospitality from an old friend. I ain't friends with hired guns. That ain't the Sam Kane I used to know. You've taken up enough of my time. You saddle up and ride. Mind if I at least buy a plug of tobacco? Marshall? You make it quick. There's one thing I hate. The next gunslinger with a badge. Wild Bill. You forgot something. Wild Bill Hickok. Understand you bushwhacked a friend of ours, Gabe Calder. You understand wrong. I told you to ride out of here. This ain't your fight. It is now. I wouldn't. Now you pick him up, put him on his horse, and get the hell out of here. What are you staring at? Show's over. Go on about your business. I want to talk to you. Now! Sam, I didn't do nothing. They came after me. Get it. That almost killed a man just now on account of you, and I want to know why. So what happened? They called me out. Now what is this nonsense about you bushwhacking Calder? Sam, I swear to you, I never bushwhacked nobody. It was that rider, uh, Marcus. With that city slicker you terrorized in the saloon? I didn't give him anything he didn't already have coming. Anyways, you wrote a book about me. What book? I said I killed over 20 men. Including Calder? Yeah. Well, that's just wonderful. You know what's going to start happening now, don't you? Well, every quick draw and hired gun in the territory is going to be coming for you. They got reputations to make. I can take care of myself. Yeah, against how many men? Jimmy, I, I got travel the road you're starting on. No one at least one place. To an early grave. Is that what you want? I didn't think so. But in case you make a mistake, decide to live up to your new reputation, let me give you some advice. You shoot to kill. It's the only chance you got.
Didn't get much sleep last night, did you? No. Jimmy, it's me. Don't sneak up on me like that. What? Never mind. about me? I asked if you're reading about me. Why are you reading that trash? Give me that. Oh, I'm sorry. Here, take it. Please come back. Here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This ain't gonna help, Teaspoon. Well, it can't hurt. Know what your problem is? Yeah. It's hotter than hell outside and I'm sitting in a damn sweat lodge. You don't know the difference between fact and fiction. I do know it. It's just that everybody else thinks that I'm some kind of killer. Well, ain't the truth, is it? If enough people believe it. A lie ain't no different than the truth. Jimmy, why don't you look deep inside yourself and tell me there ain't a little part of you that likes being talked about, being made a big man. No. Are you sure? Okay, maybe at first, but not anymore. Because I hate it. Good. That ain't as big a problem as it could be. It ain't? No. See, if you take a lie, start believing in it, then you become that lie. Then you ain't yourself no more. What do I do now? Well, some lies do have a way of spreading like fire through straw. What you gotta do when that happens is lay low for a while. Hope it'll burn itself out. That's what I'm trying to do, Teaspoon. I mean, hell, I ain't never killed Gabe Calder. And I almost got Sam caught up into a gunfight because a couple of his friends thought I did. Well, I ain't saying it ain't a problem. It's a problem, all right. It's a big one, but... Son, in the end, all you got is your truth. Hold tight to that. Hell, that's all any of us has got. It's open. What is it? Oh, I hope this is not some lengthy interruption. I'm a very busy man. I don't have time to fool. I look pretty good for a dead man, wouldn't you say? Do I know you? The name's Calder. You wrote I was killed in a gunfight. You were wrong. Oh, well, that, uh, I can explain about that. You see, what I wrote... Well, it's a book, isn't it? I mean, it's fiction. It's not real. What about Hickok? Is he real? Yes. I just invented some of the things that I said he did in the book. Like killing me. You made that kid a hero at my expense. Oh, no, no, no. Please, now. You must understand that was not my intention at... Oh, shut up! Well, please, let me explain, because... <laughs> Where can I find him? A town called Sweetwater. He rides for the Pony Express. Garbage. The trash that people read. I'm sure you won't mind starting over. Only this time it turns out a little different. 
this time I end up on top. If that's all right with you. After I take care of Hickok, I'll be back for you. Somebody really put you through it, boy. There's something I can do for you, mister? Marshal, there's going to be a killing. I'm here to stop it. I've seen you before. Marcus. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? Marshal. What's done is done. That doesn't matter. But what does matter is that Gabe Calder and his gang are coming after Hickok. Are you sure about that? They're on the 11 o'clock stage. I rode straight through to warn him. Oh, well, that's mighty big of you, Marcus. Why? <laughs> because I feel badly about what I wrote, and I wanted to set things right. That ought to do it. I, I, I'll be on my way, Sam. known your kind before, Marcus. Kind of like a vulture. Causing trouble, then hanging around waiting. Figuring that one way or the other, there's going to be a dead body left behind when it's over. Well, let me tell you something. If anything, anything at all happens to Jimmy Hickok, you're going to answer to me. Cole! What is it, Jesse? The Calder gang's coming for young Hickok. Oh, come on, Jesse. I ain't making this up. I just heard it. I appreciate you bringing my boots to me, Jesse. in the street. Yes, here we go. Room 27, second door on your left. Thanks. Gang's coming on the morning stage. Oh, oh, oh. there's ours. Where are they going? Didn't you hear, stranger? The Calder Gang's coming. I heard. Give me another whiskey. Look, son, they could cause a lot of problems to somebody who happens to be in their sight. Yeah, I guess so. Can't say I blame him. Calder and his boys got a nasty reputation. Keep an eye on things. I'll be back shortly. Where are you going? Out there, Mr. Warren Hickok. Looks like trouble's coming. You deputize as many men as you need. Just do me a favor. Keep it low-key for now, all right? All right. 
Hurry back. Don't worry, stage ain't due for a while yet. Morning, Marshal. Where's Hickok, kid? He's out on a run. Caller's due on the morning stage. Coming after Jimmy? Yep. Will he be back? A couple hours, maybe. Will you tell him to lay low and stay out of sight? If he comes into town, I won't be able to help him. You make sure to tell him that. I will. Come on, boy. Yeah. Yeah. Saddle me a horse, kid. Where are you going, Emma? Find him. Emma, don't you think he... Never mind. Exactly a rousing reception. Excuse me, Mr. Calder, sir. Would you and your friends mind if I if I were to take your photograph? <laughs> sure. Why not? Come on, boys. Let's help this man out. This here photograph's gonna end up in the history books. You know Hickok? <laughs> Where would I find him? Emma Shannon's place, a few miles down the South Road. Hold real still now. Hickok, I can't rightly say as I know such a person. <laughs> the name's Calder. Tell your friend I'll be waiting for him in town. Yeah? With you, boy. I'm trying to keep you alive here. What happened? Calder. Be all right. What about the others? They're at the livestock auction, Harper Ridge. Get them to the doctor. Jimmy, wait. Where do you think you're going? Don't well, try and stop me, Emma. Not this time. Don't be a fool. That's what he wants. I guess he's going to get it. Jimmy! There's four of them. Live through this, Jimmy might not. <laughs> Something funny? No. Sorry.
Calder. You here for Hickok? He's making a reputation at my expense. Forcing me to teach him a lesson. <laughs> Too bad he won't be around to benefit. Yeah, well, it ain't gonna happen here. I want you to leave town. Now. Are you calling on me, Marshal? If you don't leave. Be out in a minute. You're not going up against him, are you, Sam? Get up on the roof over there. It's a fair fight. Stay out of it. If not, don't miss. Yeah. Don't you think we have... Move! Calder! Let's get it over with! Here's to be your move now, Marshal. Hey! Marshal! Wrong place, wrong time, Marshal. Calder! Hickok. You wanted me? You more trouble than you work, boy. That's what they say. Don't do it, Calder. Do it. Don't do it. One more chance, Hickok. Hickok, do it. Finish me off. Hickok, damn you. Hickok. Hickok. Don't leave me like this. Hickok. Hickok, damn you. Face me! Hickok! I'm no good this way, Hickok! Somebody get this garbage off the street. Hickok! Don't leave me! You handle yourself well, Jimmy. But this could be the beginning of a whole new kind of hell. Happened, son. Hickok.
I never even knew his name. gonna write about Jimmy no more, Marcus. Just a minute. You can't. Hey, we can and we will. Now, wait a minute, boys. The man may have a point. Let me see that. Mm, you know, I used to be a man of letters myself, and I despise the notion of limiting an author's creativity. What do you want? Well, I believe the uh, subject of Wild Bill Hickok can be put to rest right now. Of course, you want to write this, you can. But I guarantee you, me and my boys will hunt you down like a dog, no matter how long it takes. <laughs> well, you wouldn't dare. It'd be our pleasure. On the other hand, I got this idea for a new ending. So you got this Wild Bill Hickok character, and he gets wounded in a gunfight. And while he's on the mend, he has a change of heart. So he hangs up his guns, and he gets himself to California and buys a beautiful farm. And he lives happily ever after. Mr. Marcus, what do you think? For your sake, I hope you like it too. Whatever you say. But I hope you realize that what happened here today can't be suppressed. True, false, it doesn't matter. It's the stuff of legend. The sort of legend a young, growing country needs. It doesn't matter what I write. It's the kind of story that takes on a life. will be at 2.30 sharp. Stragglers will be put on report. Sergeant? Deuce! Boost! Lieutenant! Message for you. Courier says it's new orders. Sergeant? Reassemble the men. There's been a change of orders. Uniform's kind of tight. And I look. Hey, General Scott himself smiles. Mr. Collins, Jed. May the army's home to fools and heroes. I ain't either. What about their horses? I got no use for those nags. Scatter them. Let's ride! Thanks for allowing us to borrow the uniforms, boys. Mister? Mister? Mister, you, you can't just leave us out here. We, we got no boots, no water. Mister? 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 
Five weeks, teaspoon. So that kind of service makes it like having those big city stores right in Sweetwater. It sure does, Amos. I'm much obliged. Well, any time, boys. Try not to strain yourself, Jimmy. It's only got two ends. What's in here, Teaspoon? Oh, it's a surprise. What kind of surprise? If I told you it wouldn't be one, would it? You mean it's for us? Yeah. For all you boys. It's kind of a reward for all the uh, hard work you've done. <laughs> well, let's see it. Oh, wait till we get back. Come on, Teaspoon. Only fair since we came to help. Well, guess it won't hurt none. Go ahead. What do you hunt with this? You don't hunt nothing. That there is a baseball bat for playing baseball. New game I read about. Order to set so as we could learn. How do you do it? <clears throat> well, uh, uh, I don't know the particulars, but the notion is you hit that ball with that bat. Why? So as you can run around the bases. What for? To score. Every time you go around, you get yourself a point. That's it? Swap balls, run around in circles? I don't think I've left anything out. People do this for fun? Well, yeah. You don't want to play, you don't have to. You boys, get away from that wagon! Alex, you Your arrival comes as a great relief, Lieutenant. This bank wasn't built to protect 200,000 in gold, even temporarily. Well, the government appreciates your cooperation, sir. Don't talk to me about those fools in Washington. Why they ever stopped using ships to transport gold from California is a mystery to me. Well, they're just testing the Overland route because it's faster. And more dangerous. It has to cross 2,000 miles, teeming with vandals and cutthroats. Men who would shoot their own mother for two bits, let alone $200,000. Well, Russell Majors and Waddell is the best freight company in the business. They guarantee delivery from San Francisco to Sweetwater. Me and my man will see it gets to St. Joe safely. I suggest that we wait till dark tonight to take delivery from you. Well, that's another problem. The shipment hasn't arrived yet. Flooding along Green River delayed their crossing. Well, when do you expect it? I knew it wouldn't work. Shut up, Stark. Gold will be here in three, four days. We wait. I don't like it. Well, you ain't got nothing to say about it. Unless you're in charge now. Sure is a nice hat, kid. Paid money for that? <laughs> How do you look? Can I see it real quick? Let me just... <laughs> God. It's all right, kid. Hey, mister. Your name Jed? We met? Reckon we might have. I'm afraid I don't recall. You recall cursing a plow mule named Jeremiah? He used to wallow in the creek when the heat came up? Kid? Believe it. Look at you, you finally got some meat on you. You finally found honest work. Boys, I got someone for you to meet. This here's my little brother. <laughs> Steve Dorr, for anger. They've been joined up at the circus for a time. Been all over this country. Ever been to New York City? Yes, ma'am. What's it like? 
Is it as grand as folks say? Oh, it's better. They got street cars, take you any place you like. Gas lamps on every corner. And buildings. Biggest buildings I ever saw. Washed on the roof of one that was over 80 feet high. <laughs> you could see for 30 miles in any direction. Damn. They got a machine that'll lift you all the way to the top. You just step in and up you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm going someday. Mark my words. New York, Philadelphia, all them big cities. Tell us about your family, Jed. Kid never talks about it. Kid never talks about anything. Billy thinks if you ain't talking, you ain't alive. I never mentioned it because there was nothing to tell. Father was a sharecropper back in Virginia, that's all. How'd you get separated? A poor rat. There was a drought. He was driven off the farm. He couldn't find work. And we were taken in by different families. In almost 10 years. Never thought I'd see him again. To family. Nothing more sacred, no bond is strong. You're here. Amen. Why'd you lie about Paul? You don't know that man nothing. I didn't feel like talking about it. You forgotten the way he beat us? Beat Mama? I swear if he hadn't run off, I'd have killed that man. I ain't gonna waste my life hating him. He caused enough hurt. Besides, looks like you turned out all right. Never thought I'd see you wearing a uniform. Best thing that ever happened to me. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Jed. You'd make Mama proud. <sighs> If it'd been up to me, I'd have robbed that bank and been gone a long time ago. Well, that's the difference between you and Jed. He's smart enough to wait till there's money in it. <laughs> well, if he's so damn smart, what's he gonna do about his brother? Now, that boy could get us all hung. My brother's my concern. You get any ideas about him? That'd be your last. One trick to a winning friend before you gain, you got to spend. <laughs> Pick one. Well, you're sorry. Hey! <laughs> oh, <here now>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Sorry. Still mine. Why, wow, that pea must have rolled. Looks like you're buying the next round. Looks like we got a couple youngins here. You know, your brother said to show you a good time, but we got a limit in these parts. Law says we got to throw back the small ones in the creek. <laughs> okay, maybe next year then. But I think I'll make an exception on you, sugar. You're wasting your time. What'd you tell her? Told her you fancied men. What? Well, it's true, ain't it? <laughs> you have got to try some of this stuff. Two more, bartender. I think the man said two. We don't serve this kind. The only kind I see around here are my friends. Well, then you ain't welcome either. Celebrating your reunion with my brother? You should have come. Just look at these boys. <laughs> What's wrong with them? They're blind drunk. How could you permit it? Good night, Emma. I ain't got nothing to say about it. They do as they like. They're just boys. To you, maybe. It appears to me they do a man's work. You ought to treat them as such. Besides, there's no harm in letting off a little steam. Well. You should have looked after them. I did. I brought them back safe and sound. Besides, by the time they wake up, they'll think twice about touching that stuff again. At least for a while. They're pretty lucky to have you taken care of them. A lady pretty as you surely could have an easier life. You do go on, Lieutenant. Well, my mama taught me to tell the truth. Hey, Emma. Well, I'm glad to see at least you showed some restraint. Yes, ma'am. $200,000 in gold bullion. It's due in Sweetwater any day. Well, that kind of money invites a lot of trouble, Mr. Foster. I should have been told about it. I assure you, Marshal, the Pinkerton Detective Agency is very experienced in these matters. We've learned that secrecy is the best protection. The fewer people who know will make it less likely... I'm the law here. It's my job to keep the peace. Now, if you know something that threatens it, you better start talking fast or you'll be staying a while. Opinion has it, there's a war coming with the South. Yeah, so I've heard. We've got reports that a gang of outlaws working for the slaveholders is in the territory. They've held up several banks and stagecoaches. Everything they steal is sent to the South to buy arms and ammunition. Then you think they're after the gold shipment? Some army horses were found running loose two days east of here. I believe that a patrol chasing the gang was ambushed. Could be. 
Indians would have kept the horses. Well, I came to warn the cavalry escort when it arrives. It already has. You like gingham? I got a real pretty one here that Ooh. just came in. How do I look? <laughs> just fine, darling. Pretty as a vision, ain't she, boys? Yes, sir. You sure are a sight for sore eyes. What's your name, darling? Leave her alone. Would you shut up. What's your name? I'll come back another time. Yeah, I'm just trying to be friendly. What's your hurry? Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> come Let go. Hey, hey. Don't try it. I think the lady told you to stop. She just made a big mistake, boy. It ain't the first. Let him go, Cody. Come with me, soldier. Come on. Let's go. I regret this happened, Marshal. You have my word this man will be properly disciplined when we report to Fort Laramie. Well, I know how it is when soldiers got a chance to come into town. Just make sure you're keeping them in line while you're here. Well, if I had a choice, he'd rot in there. But we need every man for this detail. Yeah, hurt. What'd you hear? About the gold shipment. Pinkerton detective came in on the stage today. He was looking for you. I directed him out to your camp. Appreciate that. Yeah, surely. You must be the Pinkerton. Matthew Foster. Marshal told me you were camped here. Hope you don't mind. Of course not. Make yourself at home. I hear you're worried about outlaws. That's right. Well, your worries are over. No! Get rid of them. Now we got Pinkertons all over us. Your plan ain't gonna work. You got a better idea, stuff? You're damn right I do. I say we hit that shipment out of town before it comes in. Well, that's real smart. How far you think you're gonna get hauling a half a ton of gold? Think you can outrun a posse? They'd string us all up! I would do things my way. They hand over the gold without firing a shot. Be a week before they know it's gone. And then you want to turn around and give the gold to the Southerners. We take the risk, they get the gold. That ain't right. It's smart business. Whenever things get too hot, they give us shelter, food, doctor them when we need it. Hell, yeah, they think we heroes. I'd say that's worth half. You got any more complaints? We'll get the gold. Jimmy, you're just blind. Yeah, I'll show you who's blind, big mouth. Now toss that thing again. Come on, throw it. Ain't he the funniest little thing you ever saw? <laughs> Woo! Yeah, 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 go, go, yeah. go, 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 The base man cannot right hold a runner. Right here, right here. Yeah. That's fair, tripping his legal. Throw to the 
pitcher. Come on, Jimmy. Give me the ball. Go, go, go. 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 Hit the ball. Hit the ball. out. Hey, he can't. He hit me with that thing. That ain't fair. Nice throw, Cody. Yeah. Plugging the runner is legal. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. Show me the rule. I make the rule. Yes. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Don't be a sore loser. You hit me with the ball. Oh, oh. Jimmy, 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 Jimmy,
Who's the fastest rider you can spare to carry a message to Fort Laramie? Fort Laramie? Kid. Can't be the kid. Get back here as soon as you can. I hope you're wrong about this. So do I. Well, I'm in. I gotta talk to you, Jed, after this hand. It can't wait. Excuse me. Boone, you play this one out. Kid, you look like you could use a drink. Outside. What's eating, kid? What are you doing here, Jed? I told you. I know what you told me. Now tell me the truth. You working for the marshal now? Answer me! You might have fooled Sam, but I grew up with you. Good evening, folks. You're no soldier. You'd never join the army. Even if some judge forced you to desert. People change, kid. I was hoping you had, Jed. I really was. You're my brother. I wanted to believe you. Then I hear about some gold. It's not what you think. Then tell me. That gold's gonna buy us guns, protect our home. What are you talking about? Virginia, the South. There's a war coming, boy. Everything we know, our entire way of life's gonna be raised to the ground, left smoldering by Yankee invaders if we can't defend ourselves. Now, we need money for rifle, shot, cannon. And there's $200,000 gold bullion in that shipment. I'm gonna steal it for Virginia, and you're gonna help me. I can't. It's your duty. Virginia's your home. It's where your roots are. You can't turn your back on her. You can't turn your back on me. We gotta stand together. And there's not gonna be any bloodshed. I just sign a receipt. That bank manager, he's gonna hand me the gold. Nobody's gonna get hurt. What would I have to do? Join us. You ride with me when we leave. Ask me to take his run. Again. Stacy got six riders, not five. That was your run. He owed me. That's what you said yesterday. Well, I had this outfit. You ride when I tell you. I don't hear you griping about Lou. He hasn't been here for two days. He just took off. Lou's my concern. You just do your job. Maybe I'm sick of this damn throw. Get, get. Hold it. Hold it. You're on rear and the bear sit down in a beehive. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Don't look like nothing to me. Can I help you? It don't concern you. Well, that's my favorite kind of problem. Allows me to give advice without suffering the results. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, son? Have you ever 
felt obliged to two different things. Things you loved a lot. And somehow they came they came to fighting each other. Well, how do you choose between them? Uh, sometimes you can't. Much as it may hurt, there's times when you just gotta stand clear of other folks' troubles. What if you can't stand clear? What what if you have to choose because somebody will be hurt if you don't? Kid. There comes a time in every man's life when he has to decide what he holds most dear. Could be people, could be ideals, property. But every man has to make his own choice. And that choice determines the kind of man he is. Sort of sets the rules he lives by. I wish I could help you, kid, but I can't. All I know is you got a good heart. Listen to it. But I can't. He'll know I'm lying. You can't give Jed the gold until Lou gets back from Fort Laramie. Now, that should be late tomorrow. What if they say he's an outlaw? What then? We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Meantime, you stall him. It'd be here by now. Oh, they assured me it would. Now they say it'll arrive tonight, tomorrow at the latest. You notify me the minute it does. Yes, sir. Is something wrong? Jed and his gang. It's gonna be at least 24 hours before they get here. My job is to protect the gold till then. Me and my deputies could sure use your help. You're asking us to go against a kid's brother. Well, I don't like it any better than you do. But if he rides on me, I got no choice. What are you gonna tell the kid? The truth. I don't want him caught in this. That's him. Have a good ride. Yeah! Are you with me? I guess we are. <laughs> Thanks. I'll talk to the kid. Let me.
It's gonna be a big surprise for you. I'm buying you boys a drink. What's the occasion? Well, the occasion is we got it to Sweetwater and I'm still breathing. Got what? The gold. She's all yours now. Put it in the bank, did you? Locked it up last night. I ain't slept a wink since we left Salt Lake. You take it easy. We'll take care of it. I can't ride with you. Why not? Because I can't. I thought on it real hard, Jed. I can't ride with you. It ain't right. But this war's gonna force everyone to take sides. You ain't with me. You're gonna be riding against me. I pray it don't come to that. Not now or ever. What do you mean? It's just that trouble's coming. Like you said, I know you'll be in the middle of it. I don't want anything to happen to you. you know something? right out of here, Jed. Why? Because I'm asking you. What's wrong? What's going on? What is it? Tell me, kid. Just do as I ask, Jed. Take care of yourself. What are you doing here, boy? I'm talking to you. Let him go, Stark. I don't trust him. Well, he ain't a part of this. Get out the way. I'm ready. Now! Ha! Don't you ever force my hand. Damn it, Jed. Something ain't right. Stark, what are you talking about? Gold. It came in last night. Sure. Yeah, I'm sure. Now, that dead Pinkerton must have spooked them, but they're stalling us. All right. Button up, look sharp. You soldiers. We're going to collect that gold just like I ought to say. Anything goes wrong, anyone tries to stop us. You hit them hard and you hit them fast. I want you to load up your saddlebags with as much gold as you can carry, and you ride like hell. Move! Do exactly like I say and stay here till it's over. Marshal, I can... I'll lock you up if I have to. All right. I promise. Well, let's go. I right, get behind the bank. Hold your fire until they show themselves. Shut up, I uh, go around and get the wagon. Chad, you're trapped! You got no chance! Throw out your guns! 
Take Not cover! Even here, Jed. Let it go, kid. You murdered people out there. Get out of my way. No. I kill you. I swear, kid. You're my brother. But I ain't gonna hang. You ain't leaving here. Don't make me kill you, kid. I kill you. I swear I will. You're gonna have to. Don't do it, Jed. Jed. No. Hang on, Jed. Hang on. Hang on, Jed. Hang on. Couldn't show you, kid. No! Damn it, Jed! Why didn't you listen to me?
Uh, the pouch, kid. Who? <coughs> oh. What happened, Matt? Snake man. It's okay, man. Just save your strength. Snake. snake man? Snake, snake man? Is that what you're trying to say, Matt? Circus guy, what's his name? Leotard. Right. Now, he gets way up high uh -huh. and swings from one bar to another. Uh huh. Oh, hell. That ain't nothing back in St. Joe. I've seen Jimmy do that all the time. <laughs> yeah, drinking sarsaparilla. <laughs> like all good Pony Express boys. Right? Hey, we got a pack of Indians heading this way. What? Run into a Sioux War Party out near Broken Fork just now. There must have been 20 or more of them. They come riding at me straight out of hell like a pack of banshees. He said Broken Fork. I pulled arrows out of these hides. They're probably ruined with holes in them now, but at least they saved my life. Hey, mister, which way are they headed? West. Better put them near Shaughnessy's way station. And that's too close. We better go warn the others. I tell you, none of us will be safe as long as them devils are running around loose. Treaties don't mean nothing to them. We need to clean them all out for good. That's what we need to do. <laughs> Cut it out. I said, cut it out. What are you doing? Preparing to die. Stop it. I ain't gonna kill you. Hear what I said? I ain't gonna kill you. No? Hell no. I take it to the law so they can kill you. I did nothing. Right. I suppose you stood around and watched while your brothers butchered these people. They were my friends. Where are the others? I don't know. I tell you, I did nothing. I was hunting buffalo and I saw the smoke. I came to help, but it was too late. There ain't buffalo around here for miles. I said hunting, not finding. White man used up all these buffalo. Now my people must ride many days to find meat. Why'd you come at me with a knife? You had a gun. Stand up. <clears throat> Who's Snake Man? I don't know. He's an Indian, ain't he? You know all white men by name. You got a smart mouth. How'd you learn to speak such good English? My mother taught me many tongues. Forked is only one of them. I knew you were white. I'm Hung Papa. My mother was white. And she was a slave. Until my father made her his wife. I have a friend, a Kiowa friend whose mother was raped by whites. Where your people go, nothing remains pure. What's this? Looks like an arrow to me. It's a Sioux arrow, ain't it? We have a treaty. Treaties can be broken. By your people. Anyway, no hung papa did this. Is that so? Too many arrows. Hell, any judge would buy that. Tell you what, though, hangman's got plenty of rope. Come on. This is not right. Me on foot, you riding. You could have brought my horse. If you were my prisoner, I would treat you with honor and respect. If I were your prisoner, I'd be a scalp on your belt. A place of honor and respect.
I knew something was wrong. Kid should have been back hours ago. I see we ride out after him. Now, hold your horses, boys. We ain't going nowhere till we talk it over Mr. Spoon. We got to. The kid could be in trouble. Yeah, and he might be avoiding it. You ever think of that? Somebody's got to warn him, Emma. The kid can take care of himself. Not if the Sioux got a hold of him. And what's your big plan, Jimmy? You gonna go riding into the war camp with your guns a-blazing? Might as well scalp yourself and send it to him on a lodgepole. Well, I ain't gonna sit here and do nothing, Emma. I gotta do something. Me too. Well, if they're going, best to have somebody along knows what they're doing. Now, don't you two go getting no ideas. We're gonna find Mr. Spoon, see what this is about. Indian stuff makes people crazy. <laughs> Sweetwater by nightfall. You'll get a fair trial. You got a better chance than Matt O'Connell and the Shaughnessy's did. What's your name? Your tongue can't hold it. Try me. Pahi Minija. Pai Yim Ha. Yeah, pa 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 he ma nijia. Curly to you. Get to the rocks. Come on, Katie. Snakes, snakes. Shoshone hunting blood. What? You can't fight them alone. Who said anything about fighting? Shh. Let's Be Ag. Should have killed you when I had the chance. You still can. Sorry, you don't get off that easy now. Good day to die. Good day to die for you, maybe. What about me? How do I ever say no? Cut the ropes. Give me a gun. No. They'll kill you. You'll kill me. Then you have nothing to lose. Shh. Swear to God you'll give it back. Who's God? My God. All right. I swear. There's a gun in my saddlebag. Shooting. Seems today is not the day after all. All right, Curly, let's have it. You swore to God. Yours. Not mine. Matt O'Connell. Got him, buddy. Trouble you in. Don't 
Welcome back. Did you have a nice sleep? I was asking the gods for a sign. What kind of sign? Show us the way out of here. I thought today was a good day to die. Tomorrow is better. You think they'd reconsider killing us if you took back that coward business? Too late. Don't worry. Their hunting party. They won't kill us till they get us back to their main camp. Wouldn't want to spoil the fun for the rest of the tribe. That makes me feel a lot better, thanks. Ongi Shuan! I gotta hand it to you, Curly. You really got away with people. Yes. You know her? White fox woman. The Shoshone stole her when they raided our camp two summers ago. We grew up together. She doesn't seem like a prisoner. Yes. She's not anymore. Now she's as one of their own. Were you close? We were to be married. I'm sorry. Why? Why? Isn't it hard seeing her like this? Hard as being trapped like an animal. Daibo! <clears throat> Daibo! What is it? Nothing. Don't make sense, damn it. Just don't make sense. Yeah, sewer proud people, you know that. White's been pushing them off their lands for a long time now. That's right. They wouldn't break their treaties. Unless someone pushed them. Mac and Bessie Shaughnessy. Well, didn't that Indian agent say there weren't no reports of Sioux activity in the area? Yeah, but who's going to believe Walker, Emma? He's on their side. Well, at least the kid got away. Don't know that. Don't know nothing. That's the damn problem. Excuse me. Be all right. I don't know, Buck. I'm scared. What if the Sioux did get him? What if he's... He's fine, Lou. I know it. How can you be so sure? You didn't see what they did to the Shaughnessy's. They're savages. Because they're murderers? Or because they're Indians? understand you, Curly. Just show me you're planning an attack on Fort Laramie. You should warn your people. When? When the moon is dark. Let's go. This is where 
I leave you. Hold it, Curly. I still gotta take you in. I'm sorry. Don't make me. I thought you understood. I don't know anymore. It's for the law to decide. If you're innocent, they'll set you free. You really believe that? I have to believe it. I should have known better than to trust a white man. Especially one with principles. heard about the Shaughnessy's. Yeah, when you didn't show up back there, we went out looking for you. So, Matt? He do it? Found him there. That's all I know. Bring him up! I say we get the hangman right now! Yeah, get yeah. him through! He ain't no good! Yeah. You ought to teach your boy not to be throwing rocks, man. But the folks here will think you ain't a good Christian. Let me through. Let me through, damn it. What you waiting for? Indian lover. Yeah. Next person who throws something's gonna get locked up with him. Go on about your business. Did he have something to do with the Shaughnessy killings? Found him there. Like hell, kid. You gotta get back to him and look after yourself. Sam, I promised him he'd get a fair trial. Well, he'll get one. He'd better. He saved my life. He also said the Shoshone are planning an attack on Fort Laramie. You might want to send word. That true? Damn it, boy, I asked you a question. Would you believe my answer? I'd believe him if I were you. You got something I can clean off with? Take care of that thick head of yours, Curly. I'll be back to see you later. Yeah, why don't you just bring him out here? We'll take care of him. You know what you're doing, this guy. Don't you worry none about justice being served, because I got me a rope, got justice written all over. We know what to do with him. What are you waiting for? We're going to hang that Indian. We're going to see to it, the Indian. about me I'll tell the others you're back scalping all you all right you look terrible I'm fine really I was kind of worried thought I'd never see you again I gave up on you. You all right, kid? What the hell happened? We were just gonna divvy up on your worldly goods. <laughs> I guess you all know what happened out of the Shaughnessy's. 
Well, I found a Sioux Brave out there and brought him in. In between, we ran into some Shoshone, which is why I look like this. Emma, I could sure use a hot bath and a meal. Kane. Oh, hey, Walker. Come to see the prisoner. Go over there. My name's Walker. I'm the Indian agent for this territory. I knew you. You're Tataki Yotaka's half brother. Brother? Of course. Unlike the Hunk Papa, I'm afraid I still see men in terms of color red, white, yellow. Please accept my apologies. Did you kill those people, son? No. Do you know who did? Those were hung Papa arrows, you know. Well, I'm going to do my best to get you out of here. Is there anything you can tell me that might help your case? No. I see. Well, in the meantime, I'll have someone notify your family that you're all right. At least I can do. Trouble out there? No. Why? Uh, just wondering. Emma, could I have a little more bacon? Mm hmm. Why don't you just give him the whole pig? And you never found out nothing else about this snake man fella? Nope. I was hungry. I couldn't tell. So what are you going to do about Curly? If you could take a look at the Shaughnessy's, could you tell what tribe did it? Mm-hmm. Then that's where we're going. Let's go. Jed, keep your eye on Buck's back. Could be trouble. Buck ain't Sue, he's Kiowa. No times like this, some folks don't see different shades of red. You ready, Buck? Yep. Yeah! Emma, I know I said I'd reshoot lightning today, but... Yeah? Well, I'd kind of like to go in town and tell Curly that the kid's trying to help him. Yeah, all right. But that horse got to be shot this week. I promise. I'll go with you, Lou. I want to see this light-haired Indian for myself. hundred Apaches in that one. And they butchered them all and scalped them ever one. You think the Apaches were bad? You know what Sue do to white women? That's what I love about sweet water. Folks are so sweet. Curly? We're friends of the kids. I'm Lou and this is Jimmy. He wanted us to look in on you, see if you're okay. Well, are you? I thought the kid said you were white. Hunk Papa. So you do talk. When a wolverine is caught in a white man's trap, he chews off his leg to get free. He does not talk about it. The kid's trying to find something that'll clear you. He should have looked in his heart. It's Hunk Papa, all right. Show me where you found that. He 
He's right there. Looks to be about six riders. Was it the Sioux? No. Shoshone? Not Shoshone either. Well, what tribe was it? Yours. Mine? White men. That horseshoe mark there? Indian ponies ain't shod. They tried to cover up the hooves with rawhide. I've seen that before. Why? Why does anyone do something and try to make it look like someone else? We better tell Sam before that mob gets to Curly. Come on. Friends, I don't believe in the law. What I believe in is doing what's right. A man steals your horse, you just shoot him. Because that's the right thing to do. It ain't written down nowhere. And you don't go to prison for it, because it is the right thing to do. Chief Shaughnessy was a good man. Then a band of them black-hearted, bloodthirsty, one minute. even Indians one minute. rode into his station and massacred his whole family. Stole everything that they could and tore up what they couldn't pack. And they got one of them now, right there over in that jail. And they say he's got to have a trial. Now I ask you, what good is a trial going to do Max Shaughnessy? Is a trial going to breathe life back into his dead wife? No, I say that Indian's got to hang. That's what I say. Will, you get out of there and let a man have a piece of that action. All right, son, now you get ready to fire your best shot. It's over. I just finished this one. I think I just saw Snake Man. Where? The trapper. Oh. <laughs> Are you sure? Folks, remember what I tell you now. Like the good book says, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. You lost, or just unlucky. One more time. Who sent you? I told you before, we got lost. What are they doing here? My guess is they followed you. Why? I wanted to buy my mother a fur for her birthday. Man who don't want to talk doesn't need a tongue, now does he? Wait. Gallagher killed the Shaughnessy's. I don't know what the kid's talking about. Me neither. From what I hear, the Sioux are responsible for that unfortunate incident. In fact, one of them is in jail now, even as we speak. Who knows you're here? Marshal Kane, Teaspoon, Cody, they're right behind us. Kid's lying. He's lying. 
Well, I'll find out the truth. And that's a promise. Either way, I'm afraid you'll be meeting the same fate as the Shaughnessy's. Why are you stirring up trouble for the Indians? See, the Indians don't appreciate the real value of things, like land, for instance. You'll find that throughout history, people that don't appreciate what they've got usually lose it. If the Sioux were to break the treaty because, let's say, the chief's half-brother were to die unjustly at the white man's hands, its terms would no longer apply. And then those of us who do appreciate the real value of things stand to benefit. Mr. Gallagher, I'd like a word with you. Need I remind you you've done quite well for yourself? After you trade those rifles to the Shoshone, you'll possess a veritable fortune and fur. Make sure the Indian hangs today. Stu? It ain't half bad. Hey. Hey, the stew ain't half bad. Sam! You gotta let Curly go. He didn't do it. Well, that's for a trial to decide. There ain't gonna be no trial. Hey, Kane! Kane, bring that Indian out now. We're gonna come in and get him. Key's in the middle drawer. You take Curly out the back way to Emma's. Give us the Indian, Kane. We yeah, want exactly. the murderer. Yeah. No one's getting yeah. anyone. Yeah. Indian's getting a fair yeah. trial, and that's the end of it. Oh, hey, not get a fair trial. Trial. Why don't you all just settle down and go on home? Oh, no. Kane, nobody wants to see you get hurt. Yeah. But one way or another, that Indian's gonna hang tonight. Yeah. 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 Are we gonna let this Indian lover stop us from seeing justice served? No. 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 Well, if it's a war you want, Gallagher, you got it. Walk, go get the horses. Indian agent Walker, he did this. Why? Wants our land. It's not the first time. Did you tell anyone? Didn't know to trust. I'm sorry, Curly, I should have believed you. Let's move. Hey, we're getting away. What's the count? Damn. We're short. Well, you must have made a mistake. Now, I want you to count them all again. Shawnee will be here soon. Jimmy, I almost got my hands free. See what you can do with the ropes. The ropes, Jimmy, the ropes. I'm sorry, Lou. When it comes to women, my hands just got a mind of their own. some water. Besides, my business will be over before those two can cause any more trouble.
Where the hell you been? The old Scotsman's place, near Conjure's Bend. It's Gallagher's now. Yeah, he's Snake Man, and he's working for Walker, who wants that treaty broke with the Sioux so he can steal their land. How'd you get him out? He made bail. Walker's got the rifles that were taken from the Shaughnessy's. Did you see the pouch? No, but I know it's there. Walker and Gallagher are trading the rifles to the Shoshone for furs. When? Soon. The soldiers at Fort Laramie will be badly outgunned. Well, then we gotta stop that trade. Emma, get Sam. Tell him to get as many men as he can and get him up to the Scotsman's. We'll meet him there. Be careful. Take one of the horses, ride it out to your camp, send it back when it's safe. Well? You're free. Go on, get out of here. A hung papa would not deprive his brother of revenge. Fine. Get your fool head shot off. See if I care. We ride in the morning. It's a good day to die. I love this guy's attitude. Good deal, Zach. All right, we better get going. We wouldn't want to keep the chief waiting. Dies. Shoot him, kid! Carly, no! Guys, now. If you kill him now, no one will know what he did to your people. It'll happen again. It will happen again anyway. I can't promise you that it won't, but I swear it'll stop him from carrying out his plan. When you say you swear, whose God do you swear to, yours or mine? Both. You can't prove a thing. Better get a good lawyer, Walker. You're gonna need it. Move. A 
must return now to my people and my destiny. What destiny? Well, my brother Tatanka Iotanka has taught me that the great spirit has written in the stars a path for each of us. It's a path we are bound by the heavens to follow, so the gods' dreams for us may be fulfilled. I learned of my destiny in the last moon of the leaves falling. I had a dream of a man with yellow hair who brings a terrible storm into the sacred circle of the earth. But my brothers of the hunk Papa, I will help steal his thunder and defeat him. But he will rise again and have many sons. I don't understand that last part. I must dream some more. I'm gonna miss you. Let us sit. Now we are his brothers. May our God smile upon you until we meet again, my brother. You too. Pa ni nija. Pahim mini miha. Pahim yun yum nija. Curly to you. Curly. Have a good destiny. Yeah. I had no idea his brother was Tatanka Iotanka. You know him? I know of him. Don't you? Who is he? Great chief and medicine man. Sitting bull. Yeah! Oh, Bella Tonka! 